Despite the enormous benefits of family planning services, the uptake of the service still remains low in the country, which is responsible for the fast-growing population that has continued to exert pressure on the national resources. Legislators have been asked to make health a major priority, including men being champions of family planning. It's on this background that the designated Minister of State for Health, Sarah Pendi, cautioned male legislators in the 10th Parliament against promoting unwanted pregnancies, citing how it turned out a big challenge in the 9th Parliament. We really have to do something, not only in terms of educating our people, but also telling our people to produce the number of children that they can actually take care of, not to produce for others to take care of them. Findings from the Ministry of Health indicate that a total of 292,000 abortions are carried out annually in Uganda. This translates to 800 per day. Experts say that this is due to the misconceptions surrounding the family planning methods, among other issues. Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Litwala Kadaga triggered the legislators into laughter when she pointed out that among the key issues she to advocate for is solar power in far villages, citing that going to bed early is responsible for the growing birth rates. We are talking about uh, the number of the rate, but you think about sleep at 6 o'clock, what do you to We should work together to ensure that people have power. They can watch television, they can go to the TV instead of just going to TV. So that's what we are getting to our people. She also expressed a need for government to consider buying marine ambulances for the safety of people who live on islands. The last two years I've been advocating for boat ambulances to be used in the island constituencies so that they're also able to get services. 